Hi, Amanda. Why is everyone still talking about Apache, Cassandra, and NoSQL databases? So NoSQL databases really solve uh, a lot of the problems that relational databases uh, have when you start to scale and when you have big data. So if you know your database history, NoSQL databases really started to come uh, into fruition in the 2000s when uh, big data really started to happen, right, because of the internet. And uh, over time, we still need uh, even more so those types of technologies to be able to get that high performance and uh, high availability that you can get with NoSQL databases. And people still are talking about Apache Cassandra because it is a NoSQL database and it's 10 years old. So it's kind of uh, gone the test of time and there's a strong open source community that's behind it. And what makes data modeling for Apache Cassandra different? Yeah, so it's really about flipping the data modeling kind of on its head. So in a relational data modeling, uh, you're really looking at like things like third normal form, but with uh, Cassandra and really NoSQL databases in general, it's all about denormalization because you want to denormalize uh, your data model for high performance. So that's really what you have to do. So how do you think about managing data in a multi-cloud environment? So a lot of uh, customers are actually already doing that, right? It's something that you absolutely have to do. Again, if we're talking about with NoSQL, uh, to have that high availability, you get high availability by having more than one cloud provider. And uh, Apache Cassandra is actually a perfect technology to do that uh, because it is, while it's cloud native, it's cloud agnostic. And so because of that, you can deploy it easily across clouds. What's one tip that folks can take away when they're doing data modeling for cloud native uh, NoSQL databases? Yeah, so this really goes for any of the NoSQL databases out there, Apache Cassandra or any of the others. It's really about focusing on how you're gonna distribute your data. It's all about your primary key and that's actually what's going to distribute your data across the cluster. And that's what you really need to make sure you have a really good understanding of that primary key, all the ins and outs of it, and really test with that primary key that you've chosen. Thanks so much for sharing your insights today. Absolutely.